Welcome to Linux app tutorial. In this video, we are going to see about how to set up Hadoop single node cluster in CentOS. Hadoop is a open source software framework which was developed by Apache. Hadoop allows us to store the big data which is beyond the hardware capability in a distributed manner to all the data nodes inside the cluster and it allows us to process the big data whenever it requires. Hadoop uses HDFS file system which means Hadoop distributed file system. In this video we are going to see how to configure Hadoop for single node cluster. Before going to configure Hadoop we need to install Java in our system. Now let's install it. Now move to this directory cd space slash opt. Now we need to install Java in this directory. Now you need to run this command to download the Java package from the internet. Now type this command and hit enter. It will automatically download the package in this slash opt directory. Now I am not going to run this command because I have already downloaded the package. Here you can see I have already downloaded the package for Java. Now run the following command to extract the package star space hyphen xzf space file name and then hit enter now it's have started now type ls and enter here you can see a new directory now move to the directory cd space directory name and then hit enter next run the following command to install java on your system now type this command and hit enter now java is installed now run the following command to configure java now type this command and hit enter now here you need to choose your java's home directory in this path only we have installed java right now so we need to choose the option file and then hit enter choose the option accordingly on your system now run the following four commands to set up the path for java c and jar commands now type this command and hit enter next run this command and then run this command hit enter and then type this command and hit enter now java is installed on your system to verify the version of java type the command java space hyphen version and then hit enter here you can see this is the version of java we have currently installed next we need to configure the environment variables now type this command to export java's home directory now hit enter and then type this command to export jre home directory and then hit enter and then run this command to set up the path variable now hit enter now java is installed and configured on your system next we install hadoop on your system now run the following command to create a user for hadoop now type user add space and then username let's create a user called hadoop now hit enter now create password now enter the password now the password is created for the user hadoop now run the following command to switch user account su yes, space hyphen space hadoop and hit enter now we logged into the user account hadoop now let's create the SFS key ssh hyphen key gen space hyphen t space rsa and then hit enter now choose the key file path you can choose the default one hit enter now enter the passphrase you want and enter it again here you can see the key is generated in this directory path next we need to copy this key file to the authorized key file for that run the following command now type this command and hit enter now this key file is copied to this file now run this command to change the file permissions now hit enter next we need to download the package for Hadoop from the internet now move to your home directory which means Hadoop users home directory here 
I am in the path slash home slash Hadoop. Here we need to download the package. Now run this command to download the Hadoop package. You can able to visit this official site in your browser to download the package for Hadoop. To download the package for Hadoop, or else you can type this command and hit enter to download the package. Since I have already downloaded it, so I am not going to run this command. Here you can see I have downloaded the package. Now extract it by using tar command tar space hyphen xzf space file name and then hit enter. Now it's extracted. Now type ls and enter. Here you can see a new directory. Now let's rename the directory me space directory name now hit enter here you can see the directory is renamed now open this file vim space dot bash rc in this file we are going to mention the environment variables which is used by hadoop now hit enter now here create the following entry now create entry like this and then save the file and then run the following command to apply the changes we have made in this file now type this command and hit enter next move to the following directory cd space hadoop slash etc slash hadoop and then hit enter here you can see some file now here we need to open this file now type the command vim space and then file name and then hit enter here comment this line and then under the line we need to add one more line now add this line we are exporting the java home directory now save the file now run the command in space core hyphen site.xml now open the file and then here we need to create some entry now here create entry like this and then save the file next run this command to open hdfs hyphen site.xml file now hit enter here also create some entry now here create entry like this and then save the file now run this command here we are copying this file and then we are creating a new file called template hyphen site.xml now hit enter now open this file template hyphen site.xml hit enter here also we need to create some entry now create entry like this and then save the file now open this file yarn-site.xml now hit enter here also we need to create some entry now create entry like this and then save the file now run the following command to format the name nodes so type hdfs space name node space iphone format now type this command and hit enter now here you can see the name node is successfully formatted now move to this directory cd space slash home slash hadoop slash hadoop slash sbin and then hit enter from here run the following command start iphone dfs dot sh now hit enter now type yes and hit enter now type the first place we have created for sh key generation now type yes and hit enter next run this command start hyphen yarn dot sh and then hit enter after executing these two commands the hadoop services will be started we can verify about the starter services by using jps command but before that run the following command now type this command and hit enter now here this command will be executed from root user only so we need to change the account to root account now run the command hit enter now type the command jps and hit enter here you can verify about the starter services for hadoop now the hadoop is configured now open your browser now here type the following link address 
now type like this and hit enter here you can see the name node information here you can verify about your name node here the size of name node and the usage like that now type this link and hit enter here you can see the information about your cluster next type this link and hit enter here you can see the secondary node information so now we have successfully configured single node cluster by using Hadoop that's all about for this tutorial hope this video is helpful for you thank you for watching